Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the first time I took an edible. So let's hop straight into the story time. Alright, so this story happened when I was 17. I was a senior in high school. So it happened not too long ago because I just graduated. So I had friends that was always, you know, smoking or whatever. And I didn't really do that stuff. And I always wanted to, like, try something. Because, you know, you get older, you tell your kids that you did this or that, you know. So I was, you know, on Instagram. You know how, like, you search up stuff, like, edibles or whatever. And, like, people in your town or city that got them, you know, they're going to pop up or whatever. So I found this little Instagram account. Sex on a person. I'm like, yo, what you got? And, um... At first, you know, he had none in stock. I'm like, all right, you know, let me know when you get everything back in stock. So, it was like, after that, I texted him October 10th, 2020. Then, that's when I got, you know, my little stuff. October 12th, 2020, right? So, two days later. I got the messages on my uh, phone right now. I was like, you got the cereal? He said, yeah. I'm like, you could deliver? He like, yeah, what you need? My, let me get the Fruity Pebbles. He said he don't got no more. Then he texts me the menu of what he got. I'm like, all right, let me get Apple Jacks. Asked him my address, sent it down. He said, all right, I'm going to let you know I'm on my way. Boom. Then he said, all right, I'm outside. When I saw I got it. So this is the, the part, right? You know, so you know how, like, you go on Instagram, you record or whatever. I made sure to block my mom, my other sister. I'm like, damn, I don't want to tell her, whatever. But I didn't even keep the video up there for that long. I wind up taking it down. Anyways, I'm in my room. I took a bite. I'm like, damn, like, it's not, it ain't working. I'm like, damn, he played me. And so I thought, well, I'm like, you know what? Take another bite. Then I wind up eating the whole thing. That's why I messed up at. I wind up eating the whole thing. So I'm just chilling in bed. I'm like, yo, this this ain't hitting, bro. This not working. He played me. After a while, I ain't gonna lie, I started to hit. At first, I, you know, I was laughing, but I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not really high. I'm like, I, I, I'm like, damn, I'm probably forcing myself to be high, or whatever. So like, I started recording, like, you know, like you try to flash, trying to record your face. I wanted to see what color my eyes were, and I ain't gonna lie, they were pink. So I'm like, damn, all right. And then I thought, why it did like it started hitting. Now I'm like, damn it, I really am high. I can't really describe the feeling I was getting. You know, to all the people out there that get high every day or whatever, you know what that feeling is like. So I can't really sit here and be like, oh, I did this and I did that, whatever. Like I said, I really don't know the feeling or whatever. But you know, when you do get high, you get hungry, you get the munchies. You know, you just want to eat. So you know how like. Your garden, your mom, or whoever, you know, they go shopping, they get all the good snacks, they get that big box, a big bag of chips, and y'all eat all the good chips. All right, so the other ones left are the nasty chips, right? So y'all don't touch them chips at all. Y'all just eat all the good chips, y'all leave the nasty chips at the bottom, whatever. And then, like, yeah, I'm like, damn, should I try whatever now? So, I remember, um, in my room, I had took like two bags of the, the nasty chips that was at the bottom. I put them in my in my room. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try them, see how it is. Maybe like they're really not nasty, or whatever. So I remember, like, boom, like I said, you get hungry. So I'm sitting on my bed. I'm like, damn, I'm hungry, but I don't want to go in the kitchen because you know my mom or my pops out there, and I don't want them to start talking to me, and I'm acting weird. Cause like I said, this is my first time. I don't know how I'm acting. Maybe I'm just like. Like, thinking, or like maybe I'm like, like, I don't know how to really say it. I don't know how to really describe it. You know how, like, maybe I'm not really acting weird. Because you can't really see outside your body, so you don't know how you're acting. Maybe your mind is telling you you're doing something different. Your body's doing something else or whatever. So, in my room, I had the um, hot bunions, the flaming ones, in my opinion. Those chips are nasty. To you, they may be good or whatever, but to me, them chips is nasty. I take any other hot chips, the flaming hot funyuns, nasty. So I ate one bag, and 
like I said, you know, you high, you hungry. I dog that bag, bro. Like, I dog that bag. Ate the other bag. Dog that bag, too. I'm like, damn, man, I'm still hungry. But I don't want to go out there. So I'm just looking in my room like, damn, yeah, I, I know I got to have more snacks here. I always got snacks here. I'm just looking. I just see water right there. I, I drink the water. And I'm like, yo, I'm so hungry. I did not I did not want to go out there. I didn't think the text, like my sister and my brother, they're like, yo, bring me something. Then, you know, like, then I didn't want them to bring me on. They're like, yo, you good? And they try to have a whole conversation with me. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, you know, I don't want to talk right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just wait till the morning. All right. So after, like, you know, eating the chips or whatever, I'm just chilling in my room. And I remember it was dark. I had my blinds open to let some light in. You know, I didn't have my TV on. I didn't have my game on or nothing. I just wanted to just sit in silence. And, you know, I'm just chilling there. I'm walking back and forth in my room. And I did the dumbest thing ever. I laid down. And I remember I'm just looking at the ceiling. And I tried to, like, sit up. And I remember my chest started hurting like crazy. I, it felt like, it really felt like someone was stepping on my chest, bro. And I instantly thought, I'm like, damn, bro, like, like, yo, what's going on? I don't know if I ever had like sleep paralysis before. I had that, I had that jump before, bro. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'll do another story time on that. I'm like, yo. I'm just looking at the sound I'm like, yo, oh my God, my chest hurt. It really felt like somebody was stepping on my chest, like somebody dropped a big ass bowling ball on my chest. I'm like, yo, this, this really hurt. And I'm just trying to sit up, like, you know what? I'm gonna roll to my side. I'm gonna try to get up from there. I couldn't even do it. My chest just steady hurting. I remember I'm talking to God. I'm like, please, Lord, please, I'll never do this again. Please stop this right here. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. And I don't know what, like, I don't know. I guess I just got the strength, the courage to sit up finally. And I remember I, from there, I just was sitting on the edge of my bed, just sitting there. And this had to happen someday, Monday through Thursday, because literally the next day I had Zoom. Like I said, this story time happened my senior year of high school. So... I really don't know how I managed to get up and make it to my Zoom call, but I did. And I'm fast forward later that night. I don't know how, but I managed to fall asleep and I wind up making it to my Zoom call. But it felt like I had a hangover. You know, you get drunk, you got the hangover, whatever. I remember I, going, I went straight to the bathroom after I woke up and I went straight to the room, got on the Zoom call. And the first class I had was dance. Ain't that something? But I just remember I stayed in my room the whole day. My last class was at 3 or 5. So after that, I was just chilling in the room. I didn't want to be bothered with anyone. I just wanted to stay to myself. But that's the story time right there. Make sure to comment down below if you ever took edible or not. Uh, would I ever do it again? Of course I would, you know. I mean, it was alright. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.